Hi guys. So back to Hope's birthday dinner. Um, so big party here tonight. Not big, it's just the family, which is big. Um, but it's just, you know, my kids, Hope, and my husband. So she's turning 30 and I'm making this nice and dinner for her. Uh, if you saw part one, I did the caprese salad. Now it's time for Italian roasted potatoes, which is gonna be part of the dinner. And it is so quick, so easy, but it tastes so good. And what I love about these recipes is they're simple and you have these things and you know, it's not crazy verbiage that you've never heard of, like how to do something you're supposed to, I don't know, whatever, but it's just easy. Okay, so here we go. I start with some potatoes. And what I do, these are already washed and I'm going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Um, so just like this. This is different than my one pot cooking because the one pot cooking that I did with the sausage, potatoes, and peppers, remember that one? Uh, you guys love that one, I love it too. But that's a little bit more wet. This is gonna be drier, this is gonna be roasted. This is, these potatoes are gonna have a nice crispy shell on them and then the inside is just gonna undulate into all this softness. So that's the idea here. So once I get my potatoes all like quartered up, chopped, no, I don't peel them, I leave the skin on and I'm using a white potato because I just feel like a white potato is it's cleaner and I can add to it. Now, I do like a yellow potato when I do um, the, the potatoes, the peppers, and the sausage because that adds more beef and oomph to the whole thing. Put a nice white potato here, nice and clean. It's going to roast up beautiful. There they are. I'm not going to bore you with, you know, chopping up a bunch of potatoes. How many do you use? I don't know. How many people are you feeding? What I usually do is I take a scoop and I go, this is for one person, two, three, four, five. So to, today I'm doing five people. So six people actually, Patrick's gonna be here. So I'm gonna start with some olive oil. So we have potatoes, olive oil, um, garlic, oregano, basil, and um, gar 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 salt and pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna wet these up in a bowl. This isn't what's gonna totally transfer over to the pan. I've got just a sheet pan, preheated my oven to 350 and I started washing and chopping up those potatoes. Now I'm gonna take my oregano, it's about two tablespoons, maybe one, I don't know. Um, <laughs> me and the measuring. I'm gonna take some basil leaves, this is gonna be about a tablespoon as well, but we'll double check that. We're gonna grab a little bit of garlic and I go in layers. Uh, I'm gonna say garlic powder, go about a teaspoon. The salt, I kind of visualize the layers, so I salt each layer. That would be one layer. This looks like about three layers of potatoes. So I'm gonna go over this three times with the salt. You can always add, you can't take out, right? And then the pepper. I still haven't found my, my pepper that I can, oh my, this is just gonna take, I gotta find my pepper. <sighs> By the way, a lot of this stuff, again, you can find on my Amazon page. All right, so once you get that done, we're gonna stir this up. I do this also in a, a big gallon uh, baggie, like a Ziploc baggie, and I, sh I shake it because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to wet every single potato with the ingredients that I just put in there. So whether, what, there's my oven, it's ready. Uh, the, whether it was, you know, the olive oil, what, whether it was the seasonings that I just added, the salt. I really want to grab everything up, flip it, turn it, flip it, turn it, get it real well coated. I look like right now I'm a little low on the olive oil. So I'm going to put a little more in. Remember, we're not just going to dump this right into the sheet pan because we want these this to be a little bit drier. Not, you know, dry on the outside, crispy on the outside. And then that wonderful softness that we love in a potato on the um, inside. So let's get these all turned and filled up with all of the, oh, there's Mickey. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> I got this. And he runs. 
So that was my son, Michael. You'll see lots of him on the boat videos that are gonna be coming up. All right, so that looks, these look good and wet and drenched. So that's the way it's gonna look. I'm gonna take this now. I'm just gonna lay it down on the, um, the little cookie sheet or baking pan, single layer, single layer, because these are gonna roast up beautifully. I'm gonna put them in at about 350. Oven's already preheated and ready to go. And then um, I'm not gonna cover them because again, I wanna get that nice kind of crispiness on the outside. They're supposed to be like roasted, but I have it up bake, bake 350 right now. And we don't cover it. We're gonna do a single layer and then we're gonna check it. Maybe, it might take maybe half an hour to 45 minutes, but I'll keep checking them. And when do I know they're done? When I can take a fork, push it through the thickest slice of potato, and it goes through easily. Or you can taste it. Don't burn your tongue. I've done that. All right, so I'm almost there with the single layer. Looks like I gotta move some things around. Okay. And this is nice too, you guys, as a side dish. It's nice as a meal. So here's what I have left. I have a little juice. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and pour it because I did good with that measurement. So these are just gonna go right on the top, almost make like a protective barrier over those potatoes. That's it. Italian roasted potatoes, part two of Hope's Dinner. Let's pop them in the oven real quick here. All right, so in they go. And those are gonna go in for about half an hour, 45 minutes. We have to check them. So we did the caprese salad. We're doing the Italian roasted potatoes. But what I'm gonna make next is going to be some beautiful steaks. And I learned so much from Meredith, you know, Meredith from um, QVC, when I first started there, how to properly cook a steak. Oh my gosh, and it's so, it turns out so good. I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, got a nice piece of meat and you're, you're like, oh, I don't wanna ruin it. I don't wanna, you know, steak is expensive. You know, so oh, I learned this from Meredith. That's going to be coming up. I'm also going to make for you some uh, mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms in butter and beer. It's the best. And then lastly, whew, I got some lobster. Arr, that'll be fun to watch. Okay, stay tuned because I've got more coming your way. Oh, 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 by the way, this week I'm going to make a homemade apple pie from scratch. Wait till you see that. Oh my God, it's so good. You'll never ever buy an apple pie again. Okay, stay with me. Love you. Here they are. There's the potatoes. I'm gonna give them a little stir. Let's feel them. They're still hard. They're still, well, they're not hard, but they're not ready. I'm gonna give them a good stir. Okay, you guys, this is how they're supposed to be done. See how they're like roasted? Look at like crispy on the outside. And then when you fork it, look at, oh, see, like I told you, look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's it.